Genital herpes is a common sexually transmitted infection. The herpes simplex virus causes genital herpes. Genital herpes can often be spread by skin-to-skin -skin contact during sexual activity. Some people infected with the virus may have mild or no symptoms. They can still be able to spread the virus. Other people have pain, itching and sores around the genitals, anus or mouth. There is no cure for genital herpes. Symptoms often show up again after the first outbreak. Medicine can help ease symptoms. It also lowers the risk of infecting others. Condoms can help prevent the spread of genital herpes infection. The Symptoms Most people infected with the herpes simplex virus don't know they have it. They may have no symptoms or have very mild symptoms. Symptoms start about 2 to 12 days after exposure to the virus. They may include pain or itching around the genitals, small bumps or blisters around the genitals, anus or mouth, painful ulcers that form when blisters rupture and ooze or bleed, scabs that form as ulcers heal, painful urination, discharge from the urethra, the tube that releases urine from the body, and discharge from the vagina. During the first outbreak, you may commonly have flu-like symptoms such as fever, headache, body aches, and swollen lymph nodes in the groin. Differences in symptom location Sores appear where the infection enters your body. You can spread the infection by touching a sore and then rubbing or scratching another area of your body. That includes your fingers or eyes. Sores can develop on or in the buttocks. Thighs, rectum, anus, mouth, urethra, vulva, vagina, cervix, penis, and scrotum. Repeat outbreaks. After the first outbreak of genital herpes, symptoms often appear again. These are called recurrent outbreaks or recurrent episodes. How often recurrent outbreak happens varies widely. You usually have the most outbreaks the first year after infection. They may appear less often over time. Your symptoms during recurrent outbreaks usually don't last as long and aren't as severe as the first. You may have warning signs a few hours or days before the new outbreak starts. These are called prodromal symptoms. They include genital pain and tingling or shooting pain in the legs, hips or buttocks. When to see a doctor. If you suspect to have genital herpes or any other STI, see your healthcare provider immediately. The causes of herpes simplex virus infection. Genital herpes is caused by two types of herpes simplex virus. These types include herpes simplex virus type 2 and herpes simplex virus type 1. People with herpes simplex virus infection can pass along the virus even when they have no visible symptoms. Herpes simplex virus type 2 is the most common cause of genital herpes. The virus can be present on blisters or ulcers of fluid from ulcers, the moist lining of fluid of the mouth, and the moist lining of fluid from the vagina or rectum. The virus moves from one person to another during sexual activity. The herpes simplex virus type 1, rather, is a version of the virus that causes cold sores or fever blisters. People may be exposed to herpes simplex virus type 1 as children due to close skin-to-skin -skin contact with someone infected. A person with herpes simplex virus type 1 in tissues of the mouth can pass the virus to the genitals of a sexual partner during oral sex. The newly caught infection is a genital herpes infection. Recurrent infection of genital herpes caused by herpes simplex virus type 1 are often less frequent than outbreaks caused by the herpes simplex virus type 2. Neither herpes simplex virus type 1 or 2 survives well at room temperature, so the virus is not likely to spread through surfaces, but kissing or sharing drinking glass or silverware might spread the virus. The risk factors of the infection A higher risk of getting genital herpes is linked to 1. Contact with genitals through oral vaginal or anal sex. Having sexual contact without using a barrier increases your risk of genital herpes. Barriers include condoms and condom-like protectors called dental dams used during oral sex. Women are at a higher risk of getting genital herpes. 
the virus can spread more easily from men to women than from women to men. 2. Having sex with multiple partners The number of people you have sex with is a strong risk factor. Contact with genitals through sex or through sexual activity puts you at higher risk. Most people with genital herpes do not know they have it. 3. Having a partner who has the disease but is not taking the medicine to treat it. There is no cure for genital herpes but medicine can help limit outbreaks. 4. Certain groups within the population Women People with a history of sexually transmitted diseases Older people Black people in the United States and men who have sex with men diagnosed with genital herpes at a higher risk than average rate. People in groups at higher risk may choose to talk to a healthcare provider about their risks. The complications of herpes simplex virus Complications associated with genital herpes may include 1. Other sexually transmitted infections Having genital sores raises your risk of giving or getting other STIs including HIV and AIDS. 2. Newborn infection A baby can be infected with herpes simplex virus during delivery. Less often, the virus is passed during pregnancy or by close contact after delivery. Newborns with herpes simplex virus often have infections of internal organs or nervous system. Even with treatment, these newborns have a higher risk of developmental or physical problems and a risk of death. 3. Internal Inflammatory Disease Herpes simplex virus infection can cause swelling and inflammation within the organs associated with sexual activity and urination. These include the ureter, rectum, vagina, cervix and uterus. 4. Finger Infection Herpes simplex virus infection can spread to a finger through a break in the skin causing discoloration, swelling, and sores. The infections are called herpetic with low. 5. Eye infection Herpes simplex virus infection of the eye can cause pain, sores, blood vision, and blindness. 6. Swelling of the brain Rarely, Herpes simplex virus infection leads to inflammation and swelling of the brain, also called encephalitis. And lastly, infection of internal organs. Rarely, herpes simplex virus in the bloodstream can cause infections of internal organs. Now, to the most important part of this video, the prevention. Prevention of genital herpes is the same as preventing other sexually transmitted infections. 1. Have long-term sexual partner who has been tested for STIs and isn't infected. 2. Use a condom or dental dam during sexual activity. These reduce the risk of disease, but they don't prevent all skin-to-skin -skin contact during sex. And most importantly, don't have sex when a partner with genital herpes has symptoms. Thank you for being with me to the end of this video. Drop your concerns and questions in the comment section and I'll respond to it accordingly. Kindly share my video to your family and friends if you find it informative. And oh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Till we meet again, take a very good care of yourself. Remember, you can also make a difference. And don't forget, Kofi loves you. Peace out.